In 1928, New York Aquarium director Charles Townsend led an expedition to the Galapagos Islands. He collected 182 tortoises who were becoming extinct to create breeding programs to prevent the extinction. Townsend distributed the tortoises to many zoos around the world. He continued to monitor their health and even rearrange them to different zoos. Some of these tortoises are still alive today and their offsprings continue to live in the zoos. From these tortoises came Gus. Gus was born in the San Diego Zoo on August 5, 1985. Two years later, Terry, now the tortoise ranch owner, bought Gus. When he was first acquired, he was only four pounds, but now he has grown up to 402 pounds. At first, he lived in a box. But in 1991, Terry built this barn to keep the tortoise. The floor and water are heated to a comfortable temperature, like the temperature of the Galapagos Islands. Well, it all started with my ex-wife. She got a free turtle from a lady at church. And it was a, a snapping turtle, which is illegal in California. And uh, first thing she had to do was buy the aquarium and the house and the rocks and the water heater and the lamp and all of this stuff. And we'd have to go to the pet store uh, three times a week and buy little fish for the free turtle to eat. So it's a continual mess of cleaning the aquarium. So I su after a couple of weeks of doing this, I suggested to my ex-wife, I says, why don't we get rid of the free turtle and we'll get a tortoise? Because a tortoise is a different animal. A tortoise is a vegetarian. It just lives out in the yard and it eats weeds and grass. So anyway, we uh, did that. We got found a tortoise, and we gave the free turtle and the aquarium and everything to somebody else. Well, they pretty well take care of themselves. Uh, we buy uh, uh, orchard grass down at Sam's by the bale. It's kind of it's like alfalfa, but without so much protein. That's uh, close to their natural food of weeds and grass. And then we supplement it with uh, fruits and vegetables from the grocery store. The big ones know their names and uh, they'll come to you because they want their heads scratched. And uh, even Al, our biggest one, he's 473 pounds. If he falls asleep at the far end of the yard, uh, I can wake him up in the evening by calling his name, say, Al, Al, and then I tell him, go to the barn, barn, barn. He knows his name, Al, and he knows the word barn. And he'll get up and he'll go to the barn by himself. We have uh, Sulcata tortoises breed. Uh, we have three species here. We have uh, three Galapagos tortoises. We have three Aldabras, and the rest of them are all Sulcatas. And the Sulcatas do breed. It is interesting how this generation of tortoises came from a single ancestor. Today, the tortoise ranch is open to the public upon request. This ranch shows that a simple hobby can turn into a lifelong interest.